Hey guys, it's Mark from Bigfoots and Mopars. Uh, just had some fun um, hanging out with some friends uh, that also happen to have YouTube channels. Uh, if you like what you see in this video, please check out their channels and subscribe to them. A couple of cool guys. Uh, the first one, Buddy Cullen from 111 Customs. You guys might remember him as the guy that uh, initially put the engine in the Jack Pine Savage for me. Um, he's got a pretty cool custom shop and uh, builds some pretty wicked cars. I'm going to take Cullen's little shop truck out for a ride. Some of you guys that are going to the tailgate throwdown, he was hoping to try to make it there. It's the one with the, I don't know, you call it LSA, the supercharged LS engine. And I think it puts about 850 horsepower to the rear wheels.
Yeah, I want to see too. Look at that front seal on there. <laughs> Well, the old truck's still holding up out here in the weather. But when it was parked on grass, you didn't realize how much this thing leaks. That's the reason for the whole 440 swap. Um, probably have to do a lot of different stuff to it too. So I uh, don't think this thing will get done in time to try to drive it to No Name Nationals like I thought. But since I'm out here at Cullen's picking up the headers, uh, we'll make sure that they fit good on the engine and then I'll take them to Wolf Hunter Coatings, uh, the guy that does all my ceramic coating. All right, guys, so I just got home and I picked up this transmission. It's a uh, 518 46 RE. It's an overdrive transmission that'll need a little bit of modification to be able to run behind the engine going in my Belvedere. But I met a pretty cool guy. I'll show you a little bit of video when I was visiting with him. Um, please check out his channel too. overbore which is a little excessive so what size is it overall 360 four inch bore mm -hmm. three 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 five eight stroke but it's a 318 block it's a 90 thousandths overbore which is excessive but i got the parts a lot of parts for free so i love the cordovas that's it's been a, been a fun is this the one that's got the cool transmission in it no well, my buddies i'm a, oh. a 727 that was in my buddy's mm -hmm. car is going in this Got a 904, heavy duty 904. Yeah. Five four clutches, I guess, got three, but now did you delete the Landau or did this actually not deleted, have it? Deleted. Yeah. I think they look so good with it off. Yeah, I deleted it. So yeah. I'm gonna put an eight three quarter in it when I do the seven twenty seven swap. Mm -hmm. So I've got three ninety one sugar gears ready to go in. Sweet. So you fun to find. Yeah. He said he painted this when he was 19 years old. And I got a little something in the mail today for the Belvedere. Always kind of worried about how some of these reproduction parts actually look, especially for the price that they charge for them. All right, I'm working on wrapping this. Well, they obviously wrapped it really well, and I have to admit, I really like the quality. It does have a little bit of a blemish there, but you guys might already notice a problem. I ordered a black one, and then this one's blue. But I do have some SEM interior dye paint, so I can probably paint this up and make it look black. Win, lose. <laughs> You never know what you're going to get when you're ordering aftermarket parts these days. But overall, I guess I'm pretty pleased with it. I'd have to try to find... Mine didn't even have one. And I'd have to try to find a used one and then find a way to cover it otherwise. So this at least puts me ahead of the game. <laughs>